Hi guys, today is January 26th, 2010. Happy New Year. And as you can see, it is almost 1 in the morning. And I'm <laughs> making this tutorial because I cannot sleep. I'm designing a new database for a customer and today I've spent 10 hours on it. It's a big, big project. So this is kind of like my rest time. So anyway, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a dynamic uh, value list, like a drop-down or a, a pop-up menu. So for example, we have this uh, record here, and we choose the make, for example, a Toyota, and the list below will change to the first category. Okay, so let's uh, start with a new file, and we'll call it drop down one, and we're going to make a table called category, and a table called subcategory, and finally we'll make a last our last table, and we'll call it uh, whatever you want. Um, car. Alright. And let's go to category. We'll make a category ID. And we'll give it a name field and we'll do the same for the subcategory add a name and then we're going to add one more field which is parent ID All right, and then in the car field we'll add the serial number description category and model and let's actually let's rename this we'll call it make and we'll make it a number field okay so let's take a look at that we have our category field and we'll re let's go ahead and rename this we'll call it make we'll call this model a little bit clearer to see this way. So here we have in our make we're going to save all the the brands of cars and in model we have a separate table where we're going to put the different uh, models for each of those cars. And finally we can call this car is sort of like a, you know once you receive the cars this is where you're actually going to store the make and model. And let's go to the relationships tab I'm going to extend this a little bit. And we're going to link the parent ID field of the model to the make field. To the, excuse me, the category ID field. And then we're going to make a second occurrence of this table. So let's click down here and choose the model table and we're going to call it car model alright and we're going to link the parent ID to the make so what this is going to allow us to do is we're using uh, the make, as soon as we define the make, it's going to pull up all the subcategories that match that make by associating it with the parent ID field. Okay? So let's click OK now. And we want to first set up our make and models before we go to the car table. So let's go to make and we'll create a bunch of categories.
Okay, so now we have four makes, and let's go to the model layout, and we're going to go into layout mode, and we're going to change the parent ID field so that it's a pop-up menu, and we're going to make a new value list. And this value list is going to be called make. And we're going to use the values from make. The category ID, and we're going to display the name. And now let's go back to browse mode. So now if we make a new model, we choose the category and we enter the name. I don't really know <laughs> a, a, um, a model, uh, make or a model. I can't even talk anymore. I said it was one o'clock, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Okay, so now we've set up eight ca uh, subcategories, and we have our four makes. Okay. So now let's go to the car layout. So you understand up to this point we've just input the record so that we can have value lists. The next thing to do is go to layout mode. Let's bring these out. And we're going to make this a pop-up menu. And we're going to use the make value list we created earlier and then let we'll double click model we'll go to pop-up menu and we're gonna make a new value list now this is where you gotta pay attention we're gonna call this car model and we're gonna use the same option use values from a field but this is where it changes okay we're gonna use the second table occurrence car model not the first one because that's the one that's related to this other table. We'll choose the category ID and the name and we're going to change this value here. Instead of including all the values, we're only going to include the related values from the car table. So it's going to filter them and then we'll turn this as normal. We'll turn it on and let's click OK and let's go back to browse mode alright so now let me make a new record we'll call this Joe's car and he has a Toyota and there you go Toyota Camry and we'll go to Mary's car uh, she drives a Ford Ford Mustang or, oops, we made a mistake. She actually drives a BMW 550i. So that's how you can make uh, custom or dynamic value lists that will change according to what the first category is. I hope I was able to get that across to you easily. Sorry if it was a little confusing. Go ahead and watch the tutorial again, and I hope you have a good night.